Welcome to week six, day five of the Salvation City Church Peace with God course. I'm Joel Maylett, Senior Leader of Salvation City Church. By now, you should be close to reciting the entire verse of this week concerning putting Christ first by memory. I will read it first, then I would like you to try and recite it. Our memory verse is Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Why don't you go ahead and try it? Wonderful. Let's continue. So we have spent much of this week focusing on the first half of this verse, emphasizing our obedience to Christ and putting him first in our life. Today, we will close out the week by meditating on and rejoicing in the promise that God will provide everything we need. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 declares that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ever ask or think according to the power that works in us. That verse deserves to be read again. And as I read it, let faith and joy rise up in your heart. It says God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. Jesus is not a barely make it king. He is not a just enough king. He's not even a little bit extra type of king. He is an exceedingly abundantly above all you can ask or think king. The Bible declares that he fills our cup until it is running over. When Jesus fed the multitudes with a little boy's lunch, there was an overflowing baskets of leftovers. When Jesus told his disciples to cast their fishing net one more time after they had fished all night and caught nothing, they brought up a net-breaking, boat-sinking load of fish. When Jesus turned water into wine at the wedding of Cana, the hosts of the party declared that it was the best that they had ever tasted. Think of it this way. If Jesus was running the ice cream machine at McDonald's, your cone would be touching the clouds. If he was making your Starbucks Frappuccino, he would make enough to fill the entire ocean. Our minds cannot even comprehend the infinite capacity for God's abundant blessings. And according to Matthew chapter 6, verse 8, even before we ask, God already knows and is ready to provide. So what do you and I have to worry about? If you ever need a shot in the arm to remind yourself of God's goodness and provision, take a moment to read the fourth chapter of the book of Philippians. In that letter that Paul wrote to the church at Philippi, Paul describes our benevolent and generous God even while he's sitting in chains in prison. Paul had the right perspective of God, despite his surroundings. Kicking things off in verse 4 of this chapter, Paul commands us to rejoice in the Lord always. And again, he commands us rejoice. Verse 6 gives us the key to living a worry, free, and peaceful life which is to always bring to God our requests while keeping our hearts thankful. And then verse 13 declares that when we put Christ first, nothing is impossible. And finally, in verse 19, we read that God can and will supply all of our needs according to the immeasurable riches that Jesus has in the storehouses of heaven. All of this is for those who put Christ first in every area of their life. Before we close this week in prayer, be sure to write out our memory verse from this week on the back of your scripture card 
and follow up with your discipleship leader to talk and pray through everything you have learned. And as we close in prayer, I would like you to pray with me this time. I want you to say out loud the things that you have need of, and then think about how God already knows and he is making a way for you as you put him first. So say this out loud, Lord, I need. Now begin to tell God what it is that you need. I'll give you a moment. Okay, now say this after me. Say, Jesus, I put you first in my life. According to your word, when I put your kingdom first, everything else I need will be supplied. I do not have to worry. Instead, I choose to rejoice and to be thankful. And when the time comes, you will provide for me in such a way that is more than I could ever imagine. In Jesus' name, amen.